Welcome back to new session. This is your trainer and PMD coach Anand. This is continuation of schedule management knowledge area. In this session, you will learn plan schedule management process. The learning objective of this session are, we will start with the overview to understand why schedule planning is required, understand the process definition. We will go through input tool techniques and output. You will learn about alternative analysis, which is a key tool and technique in this process. You will also learn what should be written inside a schedule management plan, what should be the content of a plan, and finally, a quick review. Before getting into the process details, let's take a look at list of all six processes. Plan schedule management under planning process group. It is the process of establishing policies, procedures, and documentation for project schedule. Define activities, again under planning process group. It is the process of identifying and documenting specific actions to be performed to produce the project deliverables. Sequence activities, again under planning process group. It is the process of identifying and documenting relationship among the project activities. Estimate activity duration, again under planning process group. It is the process of estimating the number of work period needed to complete individual activities. Develop schedule, planning process group. It is the process of analyzing activity sequences, duration, resource requirement, and schedule constraint to create the project schedule model. And finally, control schedule, which is under monitoring and controlling process group. So first five processes are part of planning process group and last process is under monitoring and controlling process group. Control schedule is the process of monitoring the status of project activities to update the project progress and manage changes to the schedule baseline to achieve intended plan. So why this process? Why not directly create the schedule? How many times you have created the project schedule on your own, presented to the business and got the approval? But once you start executing the project and team responsible says this is not realistic schedule at all and they don't agree to it. With the management pressure, you may force that schedule on your team, but then team get demotivated. Or you may get into the schedule replanning, which is just a waste of time. Now think for a moment about plan schedule management process. It is about schedule planning. Note that we are not creating any schedule here. So what we are doing, we are thinking, we are thinking how to create a schedule, how to identify activities, how to sequence them, what template will be used, what tool will be used to create a schedule, who will help you to create the schedule, what are the roles and responsibilities, how schedule will be baseline, how schedule will be monitored and tracked throughout the project life cycle. So now imagine if you could have created schedule baseline it by following above activities, then you will not have faced the issue that I explained earlier. Quickly, let's take a look at process definition. Planned schedule management is a process of establishing policies, procedure, documentation for planning, developing, managing, executing, controlling the project schedule. So the key benefit of this is it provides guidance and direction on how the project schedule will be managed throughout the project life cycle. So you could see a lot of words over here and that's what precisely different processes are. So you have a planning process, you have a process to develop the schedule and you have a process to monitor and execute the schedule. Let's look at input tool techniques and output. Inputs are project charter, project management plan, enterprise environmental factor, and organization process assets. Project charter. It contains many key elements at high level. For example, the major constraints of a scope, schedule, and cost. With respect to schedule, project sponsor might have specified important milestone dates for the project in summary milestone schedule. 
It also includes project deadline for the completion of a project. This constraint will be kept in mind while planning or while creating the schedule management. Project management plan. Remember, project management plan consists of multiple elements. For example, management plans for each knowledge area, project baselines, project life cycle, product development approach, and link to all project documents like requirement documents, issue log, risk register, etc. So what do you think? What are the key elements of a project management plan that may be critical for schedule planning? So we have scope management plan, which shows how to go from detailed work breakdown structure to defining activities. The WPS will show a list of deliverables of work to be done. And the schedule management planning processes will give a plan on how to get that work done. There are multiple product development approach like predictive, also known as traditional or waterfall, iterative, incremental, adaptive, also known as agile approach and or hybrid approach. So the approach will affect how the schedule is estimated, developed and controlled. So both these inputs from PMP can be very useful for planning. Enterprise environmental factors may include guidelines for tailoring processes for a pro specific project, organizational culture and structure. This will determine how resources are allocated and decisions are made. For example, in functional or centralized organization structure, resources are devoted mainly towards operations and in this case, functional manager will make most of the decision. If it is projectized, resources are loyal to the project and in this case, project manager will make the decisions. Availability of human resources, uh, required skill set and physical resources within the organization, standardized estimating data based upon application area or industry, scheduling software such as Microsoft Project or Primavera. So all these enterprise environmental factors may impact uh, schedule planning. OPA that can influence planning are historical information and lesson learned repositories from previous similar projects, scheduled templates or forms, monitoring and reporting tools, scheduling control tool, existing schedule development, management and control related policies, procedures and guidelines. Tools and techniques required to create the scope management plan are expert judgment, who you will need to consult in order to create the plan, data analysis, how you will analyze the data to create the plan, meetings with the team and key stakeholder where schedule management plan will be developed. So let's look into each a uh, little bit more detail. Expert judgment. Expertise should be considered from individuals who have expertise in the area of schedule development, including using scheduling software like Microsoft Project or Primavera, understand various scheduling methodologies like predictive or adaptive, our experience in creating schedule of a project in a similar industry. For example, technology lead worked on various similar software project in the organization can be called as an expert who can help you for planning schedule. Data analysis. The technique used to create a schedule management plan is alternative analysis. The alternatives that may be determined are which scheduling methodology to be used, how to combine with various methods, does the entire schedule need to be done upfront, or uh, if you need a detailed schedule, then follow the waterfall methodology. Considering the level of detail required in the project, you are required in the schedule. For example, in predictive approach, especially with a similar project, it may be good idea to plan the schedule in detail. On the other hand, if it is a new type of a project, innovative project, such project was never done before, then it may sense to follow iterative or incremental approach and use rolling wave planning kind of approach. 
As you get more clarity in the project, you will have a clear information to develop detailed schedule. Now, everyone, all stakeholders generally request you to have a detailed schedule, but that may not be possible. If you create detailed schedule at the beginning with a lot of unknowns, then you may end up revising the schedule during monitoring and controlling process, which means you are wasting a lot of efforts. So you have to balance level of detail sometime against the available information or sometime against time required to create that schedule. Meetings. Planning to develop the schedule management plan is done in the meetings. Participants that may include it in such meetings are project manager, project sponsor, selected team member, especially those with responsibility for schedule planning or execution, Selected stakeholder, again, especially those with information on schedule constraints, for example, those who can suggest milestone dates, and anyone with a schedule related responsibilities. So all these stakeholders can participate in meeting and help us to create the schedule management plan. Output. There is only one output, the schedule management plan. Schedule Management Plan It establishes criteria and activities for developing, monitoring and controlling project schedule. Plan will explain how each process will be done. In defined activities, how work breakdown structure will be used to further decompose the deliverable or project work into activities. In sequence activities, how activities are sequenced and how project schedule model development is done. It will also explain scheduling methodology like critical path method or scheduling tools like Microsoft Project to be used. So what are these tools that should be applicable for the current project? There is a confusion with the word model in project schedule model. Just think it as if it's just a project schedule. The word model here means the project schedule is not something written on the stone. It can be changed. Estimate activity duration. It contains information about how activities are estimated. It will also define level of accuracy, which means what is the acceptance range used in determining realistic activity duration estimates. It also explains unit of measure, which also means what will be the unit of measurement for measuring a time. It can be hour, it can be daily, or it can be monthly. Other processes described in the plan are develop schedule. So this process describes how to finalize the schedule, how to optimize it and how to finally baseline it. It contains information about releases and iteration length. If you are using agile lifecycle, you need to specify sprint period. Usually this is two to four week cycle but it need to be specified and it need to be consistent. Control schedule. It contains guideline on monitoring and controlling project schedule, which includes project schedule model maintenance, the process used to update the status and record progress, rules for performance measurement. So in this case, how will earn value measurement will be used to monitor the schedule performance. Control thresholds. Variance threshold for monitoring schedule performance. If a performance is not within aggregate threshold, then what actions or procedures to be followed? And finally, reporting formats. So format, frequency, and the recipient of the schedule progress report. So all this information will be mentioned inside schedule management plan. Good job. You have completed the first process that is project schedule management. Let's do a quick review. In overview, we talked about why schedule planning is required. We gone through the process definition. We talked about input tool techniques and output. We discussed alternative analysis as a tool and technique, and we saw how it will help us to create the schedule management plan. And finally, we gone through the content of schedule management plan. See you in next session to learn define activities process. Thank you.